Morning, everyone. Just about morning, anyway. Um, I bet you thought you weren't going to have to see me for a few days at least. A few more days at least. Um, but I was racking my brains, and this morning I woke up and I thought, ah, oh, I've got a big job I can do that won't be a problem with my back. So, for you guys, unfortunately, this vlog is all about work at Villeneuve again. So let's get going. I need the van for this job. Let's get going. And it's going to involve time lapses. Might involve a mini digger. <laughs> So today's vlog has a bit of commercial promotion in. Um, now, we decided to take uh, some offers that we've been given. Basically, we choose exactly what we want to promote and we will only be promoting things that we would normally use anyway and we feel is a good product. So you probably guessed that today I'm gonna be preparing this area behind me for the concrete pour. So I need to dig out 12 centimeters everywhere, check my levels obviously before I get started, mark everything out before I get started too. I can't do any of that until I've moved the piles of uh, dirt that are in front from when I dug the, uh, the, the drain in at the front. So first things first, I'm gonna get on that mini digger and move that and then that means I can start doing the layout and the levels, check how I'm doing on levels. I am a little worried because the levels don't look like they're right. Um, so we might have water heading towards the house, which is never good. Um, so I just need to figure out how I can get around that. So I've now got my blank canvas, uh, kind of. It's not really uh, particularly straight, but it doesn't matter. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now check the level of my grid that I put in and various points along where the driveway is gonna be on the edges. Because with the camber of the road being like that, I need the edges to be slightly above the ground level so the water runs off after it's run off the center, it runs to the edges and off into the ground. So I'm gonna put another time lapse on and I'm gonna spray up everywhere, make sure I've got my height, the right height for, um, for, for the water runoff basically. So after all those little calculations and checking heights and things, I am happy to say that we seem to be okay. I was really shocked actually when it all kind of worked out. Um, but let me, let me explain a bit what's going on with the levels then. I always knew that as we were coming in through the gate, we're lower than uh, the drive as such or or the land that's where the drive is going to be. So I knew we were lower and I knew that the ground kind of does actually slope away from the entrance. So that's good news. Any water coming off this part of it, of the drive in, will just flow into the garden that way. Um, but more important, along this stretch here where we're going to have the camber of the road with bits on either side dipping down, we just about have what we need here for the water to flow into the bushes. So that's the most important thing. On this side here though, we need to dig out at about 15 centimeters, maybe a bit less, but we need to dig out some of the soil. Um, and basically that means that the water from the road will still pour onto this area of grass here and just drain away there. So all that's left to do today 
is uh, start digging. Um, so yeah, we need to be 12 centimeters below the concrete of the grid, and I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, it's actually going to be 16 centimeters below, or 15 and a half centimeters below the actual grid level. That leaves me 12 centimeters of reinforced um, concrete, half a centimeter of um, uh, tile adhesive, and then the three centimeters of um, sets. So here's the grill level here. Basically, uh, we're going to be 15 and a half centimeters lower than that, but 12 centimeters lower than the uh, the concrete there. So I'm going to go off the concrete and I'm going to measure 12 centimeters off that concrete every time. I've now marked out my area that I'm going to dig out, and I just wanted to show you that, and uh, and then I can get started with the time lapse. So here at the front, where I've got a little bit of a red line in a bit of an odd angle, that's just to tell me not to dig here because uh, we've got pipes. I don't want to touch the pipes. And so I've tried to get right in close to the, uh, the hedge because the hedge doesn't have huge roots. Uh, but as we go up, you'll see by getting close into the hedge, I have to do a little thing and that is leave a little circle around the big tree because his roots or her roots are massive so I'm going to leave a little circle so that doesn't um, affect the concrete or the or the sets and what that does is that by going up that angle I get a decent arc to turn out of the out of the chateau here so here we've got about six meters before the gates these six meters before the gates means it's really it should be really easy to turn a car and, and get out through the quite tight gates they're about i think they're about two meters oh no 280 three meters uh, which is fairly tight for a car um let's have a look at the other side of the area i'm digging out so we took the line perpen perpendicular to the building and I knew this was going to happen because of the plans, but yeah, we ended up kind of um, running into the wall as such with the path, which isn't a problem, but uh, for it to look good, we have to do it 90 degrees to the building. So there we go. So my concrete is going to be along this angle here and then along the hedge over there all the way out to about where the mini digger is so i'm stopping here somewhere about here basically because i have a big machine that's going to come in and level off all the ground for me and if i do the concrete now he will come and ruin the concrete with his massive machine so i'm going to stop probably somewhere around about here where the grass is really so let's get going. So there you go, we've got a good start. Um, I now have to set off, pick the kids up and uh, come back tomorrow and carry on. I think uh, maybe another six loads. I mean, they are heavy loads on that transit. I think we're about two and a half, three ton. Um, but that's fine, because I'm not going on the road. I'm just uh, dumping it further further away on the site. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got quite well advanced there for a quick hour this afternoon. And like I say, tomorrow I'll be doing a lot more. Come on, Jimmy, up we go. So here's the product that we decided to uh, collaborate with. It's called Jimmy. 
It's a cordless vacuum and washer, and it's the Power Wash HW8 Pro. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we wanted something like this is because the floor here with the Hoover, I was, well, you can see here, I was scratching it. So we wanted something that would hoover and clean at the same time the floor. Yeah, and and it, I think it does a mop action too, doesn't it? So yes. It's like Christmas, come on. <laughs> it is like Christmas. <clears throat> what is that? The battery. So this is the lithium power, eight times 3,000 milliamp hours, so 24 amp hours. Nice. A little charger that goes with it, obviously. Uh, too short, this is here. Yeah. Oh, look. Something. To, is it a drink holder? <laughs> well, we'll see. I think it might be for the um, for the other brush on the bottle. We'll see. Maybe. This is the solution here. Oh, that is good. I'll have to read the instructions. It's obviously, a kind of free solution to try. Yeah, floor, floor cleaning shampoo. So they give you a nice little bottle to be going on with, 500 ml. Of course, you're going to probably let that down, or maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to read the instructions. I like that it has a little doggy on it. Well, you know what I like? I like the fact that it's actually heavy, heavy enough to know that it's good quality, um, but not too heavy to be portable. So here, mm -hmm. we have the stand. A nice right. little stand that comes with it. Oh, that's really good. You know how we were talking about doing the corridor before? Yeah. I was thinking, oh, where are we going to plug it in? But it doesn't need plugging in, does it? Because it's battery powered. <laughs> there we go. Plugged in. Yeah. We just need to figure out where we put the battery pack now. Take instructions out. You got it right, Ed. It's charging. I can see the red light. And look at this. It tells you the battery. So this does need diluting to use on the floor. It's 1 to 50. 1 to 50. So that's going to last us quite a while. Well, that's good. So this here is where the dirty water will accumulate. And we are going to fill up the clean water. So when you fill it, you've got your max line there. That's why it's upside down. It's written upside down. Oh. And you turn it around and Pretty cool. So I filled it up with the, uh, the product. I'm not going to wait for it to charge just because we're in a bit of a rush today. And you know what? We're not going to try it on this. I mean, this is quite bad, but I want to try it on a really bad floor, Anna. <laughs> you want to really we'll put, put it through its paces just to make sure. You, you want to do the worst test possible, don't you? So this is the floor. You want to try it on. It's full of dust. This corridor here is from dust when we were doing painting and sanding and encrusted dust. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it'll probably need to be purged, so I'm going to put it on and try and purge it. As soon as it starts, I'll stop and we'll go. Yeah? Okay. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh, straight away. You can see the sprinkling. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Okay, go on. So you just turn it on. I'm gonna call it Mrs. Doubtfire. You turn it on, you can pop extra speed and then spray.
the water then. The floor is looking amazing. I think I can definitely recommend the product. We will put the link in the description and with the code Bordeaux, should you wish to get one, you would get 50 euros off the total price. Sean, I know you want to do it there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah? We'll probably work different around here because that's uh, bonnet. So it's a bit sort of thin. Yeah, but it's still looking good. Yeah. Showing at work, I got to do another quick varnish, I think. That's a very, very easy to use on it. Why did you get tell me after? <laughs> I think you're loving it. Okay, I pushed it along the floor so you got a little black, black line there, but you can see really been getting the dinners off uh -huh. and in here we have the dirty water it's really dirty that is disgusting means it's doing its job but it's actually i i thought oh god i'm gonna have to go around and pick all the little bits of plastic up from doing electrics uh -huh. but actually you can see them in here it's actually managed to hoover those up too oh that is good so yeah it's done really well, considering that was so dirty. Yeah, no, I wasn't, I, I didn't know what it would do because you wanted to test it there, but at least that's good. And to be honest, I think it'd last a lot longer um, battery wise if I didn't have it on max, but it was that dirty in there, I needed it on max. So of course it ate the battery quite quickly, but... Uh, There's still a bit left. Oh yeah, there was like 16%. I mean, we went down like 20% on doing that. So if it was at 100%, you'd be easily be able to do a full room this size on 100%. And you know what? I think that's pretty good going. This is normal. Yeah, it's still really strong. Really well. Just like looking at the difference here, Ed, where you've done and where we haven't done yet, it is a huge improvement. And look at the floor, look how nice it's looking where you've done. Well, I have to say, there, with our patch there, we used a couple of percentages of the battery. Yeah, so it's... Um, <clears throat> one thing, yeah, so it is good at what it does, but don't forget, we're putting through its paces on a build, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your everyday use wouldn't be the same. Second of all, we're not having to mop. We're just hoovering and, and mopping at the same time. How good's that? It's perfect. I'm, I'm sold. Yeah. Well, good, because that's going to be your job. <gasps> no, 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 you, you're too good. Whilst, no, whilst I'm on the mini digger outside, you can be in here okay. polishing the floors. Sounds good. I think I, I prefer polishing the floors here then. Being, well, being on the mini digger. Or being my assistant. Definitely. And the product smells really good too, so, yeah. Well, I think that's a big thumbs up, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Uh, you know... Look at this floor. I know you said you wanted one, I was a bit doubtful of it, but look at it. Oh my god. It's really good. Because look at the floor now, perfect. And, and with my back being bad, I'm not feeling it at all, because it's quite light. And yeah. It was made for you. <laughs> you <laughs> definitely well I wanted it before oh you're such a good husband I was gonna say before you go on your mini digger can you just change the water for me I don't know, it's 
Don't, no, no, don't. Over the edge, you'll do the job for the Oh, you cheeky thing. No, let's have it. Let, let me have a look at the grime. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is dirty.